Hey guys, and welcome back to Live Laugh Birds, where we live and laugh with birds. So today's video is going to be about things in your house that can be very dangerous or fatal to birds. So this is a really important video to watch, especially if you are planning on bringing a bird home, but you haven't gotten one yet, because you are going to have to yeet some of these things out of your house. It's really important to know something about birds, and that is they have extremely sensitive respiratory systems. So anything in the air is very, very dangerous. If you think about it, birds are just so small. And if you've ever heard of a canary in a coal mine, the reason they used to take canaries in coal mines is because the canary would detect any toxic gases before the person. And unfortunately, it usually caused sudden death. Hi, Pearl. Can I, I <laughs> gotcha. I know you like millet and you love Kermie Bird. So this list is in no particular order, but the first one I think is a very important one because of the time we're in right now. And that is household cleaners and disinfectants. A lot of people are spraying things like Lysol in their homes to disinfect things, obviously with this virus, but birds cannot handle any kind of chemical, especially those sprayed in the air. You can never spray any kind of disinfectant in the same room as your bird or anywhere near your bird. The same thing goes for any kind of disinfectant wipes like Clorox. You never wanna let your bird go on any kind of surfaces that have just been wiped down with those. You'll have to wait and you should never use disinfectant wipes on your bird's cage. You also cannot use window cleaners like Windex in the same room as your birds. The next household hazard is a major one, and you guys should already know this if you own a bird. If you don't, it's time to know. And that is nonstick coatings. Nonstick coatings, they release these extremely toxic fumes into the air when they're overheated. The most widely known nonstick coating is Teflon, but there are others. Teflon is just a brand. You also might not be aware that nonstick coatings are on more than just frying pans. The thing is with nonstick coatings, they can pretty much kill birds instantly. It's so important to never use them in the same house. Even if your bird is not near the kitchen, it's not worth the risk. Don't use anything nonstick in a house with birds. Like I said, Teflon is a brand and just because a pan does not say Teflon on it does not mean it doesn't have nonstick coatings. So you wanna make sure when you're buying a pan, it's free of these two chemicals. PTFE and PFOA. It has to say free of those two things. If it says nonstick, it's not safe. And again, nonstick coatings can be in things other than pans. So they can be in irons, they can be in hair dryers. You have to check whenever you're buying something like that that it's free of nonstick coatings. The next household hazard to birds is going to be paints. And there are two ways that paints can harm birds. One is through inhaling the fumes that paints give off when they're drying. If you have to repaint your house, your birds cannot be in there because you can smell those paint fumes. They cannot handle those. If you have to repaint your house, you have to take your bird somewhere else until your house is aired out, the paint is completely dry, and you cannot smell any of it. The second way that paint can harm birds is if the bird chews on something that is painted and it starts flaking off. The bird can swallow those flakes and get metal poisoning from the paint. A lot of paints have lead or zinc or other toxic metals that your bird can ingest and that can cause metal poisoning. So you have to be super careful about what your bird chews on. The biggest way to prevent this is to supervise your bird while they're outside of the cage. The next thing that cannot be used around birds is anything scented. So that can mean air fresheners, perfumes, or scented candles. Anything in the air that's meant to smell good cannot be used around birds because those are chemicals. I am sorry if you like Febreze, but you cannot use that if you own a bird. There are these dog pads that some people use in their bird's cages and those give off scent. They are these odor control pads. You can't have those in your bird's cage. You can just use newspaper. You have seen a trend here and that is chemicals in the air. Another thing that you cannot do around birds is smoking and vaping. Secondhand smoke, very dangerous to birds. You should not be smoking in your house if you own birds. The secondhand smoke is not going to kill them right away like the nonstick fumes, but it will accumulate in their lungs over time and damage their lungs. 
Moving on from things in the air, the next household hazard is houseplants. Knowing birds, they're very curious. They like to chew on everything. And especially they like to chew on the leaves of a plant. But certain houseplants can be very poisonous to birds. There's a lot of lists online where you can search safe and toxic houseplants for birds. And I'm not personally an expert on knowing every species of houseplant, so please do your own research and know what kind of houseplant you have. If you don't know, then don't take the risk. The next hazard is electric cords. Now a lot of birds get really curious and they like to chew up your cords. They can chew up your charger cord. They, get, they like to chew off that plastic coating. But if they chew all the way through that plastic coating, they can get to the wire and they can get electrocuted. So to protect my birds and my chargers, I use these cord protectors. These are very helpful. They just kind of wrap around the cord and your bird can no longer chew through the plastic coating. The next hazard is humid medications. If you have to take medication, you can accidentally leave a bottle open with little round pills. Those can be appealing to birds because they can view them as food. Just think about the dose that you're taking versus a tiny little bird. That can be fatal to them. So please lock up your medications if you have to take them. Lock them up in cabinets. You cannot leave them unattended. The next hazard is ceiling fans. You can guess what happens next if your bird flies into a ceiling fan. So please, please turn off your ceiling fans before you let your bird out of the cage. If you have a ceiling fan in the room that your birds are in, I would recommend not using it at all because you can forget to turn it off. Even if you have ceiling fans in another room, your bird can still fly into another room. So I would just avoid ceiling fans as much as possible. In my house, there is one ceiling fan, one, and it doesn't work, so it's not really a problem for me. Air conditioning does just fine at keeping the house cool. So the last hazard I'm going to be talking about today is open doors and windows. Obviously, your bird can fly away. Doors and windows, they've gotta be kept closed at all times when your bird could be out of the cage. So it really helps to keep your doors locked because it gives you a little moment when you go to unlock the door to think about where your bird is. And it gives you a little moment to realize if your bird is still outside of the cage. With windows, it's really important that you have screens on your windows. You can't just go opening any window without a screen on it because your bird can fly away. So be careful with your birds. So that was it for today's video about the 10 household hazards that are very dangerous to birds. Now, this is not a complete list. There are other hazards to your birds in your house. So please do more research. This is not complete. This is just the major ones. So I hope you guys learned from this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.